so um, I just saw one of my good Judy's Carissa um, she posted a video on her channel um, talking about our experience at Walt Disney World together and Dis in Disney Springs or downtown Disney and um, how we got to meet each other and how we celebrated her daughter's birthday and um, it was so it was so good to hear um, I feel like I've been shutting down a lot lately my days are just blurring together um, I don't remember what day of the week it is right now um, I'm just kind of going through the motions because um, I've been really sad um, about having to leave my family and my friends um, and Carissa said that little Maddie watches my videos so I wanted to talk to you Miss Maddie um, because I feel like the world is so so much easier to understand through a child's eyes I think um, because everything is so simple and when you think about what's going on in Florida right now it doesn't make any sense um, so I'm really sad that Miss Maddie if you come to Disney World again sometime soon that I probably won't be able to come see you um, because the person who's in charge of the state of Florida right now uh, who makes all the rules says that I'm not allowed to have my medicine anymore and he said that he's doing this for the children he's doing this to save children um, but I'm not a child um, I'm a big grown-up I can make my own decisions and the medicine that I take is called testosterone it's something that men or boys have in their system that make them grow facial hair and have a deeper voice so when I was younger I looked like a girl I don't know if you know this yet Maddie um, I'm trying to see if I have a picture what one second I'll, I'll be this is a picture of me from high school um, I was a girl I had long brown hair that I like to color red a lot because my husband Nick who you met said that my hair was really pretty as a red color so ever since I dyed it red I always preferred to do red just for him and um, I I felt it, it, it's hard being a girl in the world sometimes when you're growing up because boys kind of pick on you a lot and they kind of 
Um, they kind of run the show. Um, and I feel like that's what the person in charge of Florida is doing right now. He's kind of running the show and telling um, people like me what medicines they can and can't have. Um, for me, testosterone is very important because it helps it helps me not cry too much <laughs> um, I used to cry a lot of the time and I used to have a lot of panic attacks just like your mom does and I still do have panic attacks but they're not half as bad and I used to get them during a certain time every month and they would get real bad mostly because I had a lot of female hormones girl hormones um, hormones are like what testosterone is for boys and estrogen is for girls and When I take testosterone, it helps me feel less like crying all the time. Um, it also made me feel more beautiful. Um, ever since I grew a beard and a mustache, I've felt more like myself. Um, I felt like I just turned into a beautiful butterfly and I got to be me I got to turn into who I believed was Koei and when the governor or the person in charge of Florida when he says that I can't have the medicine to be who I want to be, to be Koei. It makes me so sad because I'm so colorful and happy and I love rainbows and I love making people happy and it's so special for me that I get to make people um, more happy when I feel good and I'm more calm and when I feel more confident in myself I get to spoil my friends and I get to make cakes like I did for you um, and I don't want that to go away. And my friends are also on similar hormones like me. One of my friends takes estrogen for girls. Um, because they felt like they were a beautiful woman inside. And they wanted that to show on the outside, too. And so... She has also had to start raising money to leave the state. And she's going to live with family in New York. It's really scary. Because I feel like.
the governor of the F Florida is trying to take away my happiness and my liveliness, my my joy, my positivity. Um, he's trying to take away the rainbow in the world. And he also wants to run for president. And he wants to do that for all of America. And I don't want him to take away the rainbow. Because it means so much to me. And it's part of who I am. And I can't go back. So I have to leave Florida. I have to leave Disney World. Um, but I get to go and live by one of our other good Judies from the Vlogarinos group. So I won't be alone. I'm going to live near Jesse Bean. Jesse helped me with the crane project for Peter. She gave me the lights that make the rainbow lights on the beautiful sculpture that I made. And her husband paid for it. <clears throat> and she's going out of her... <clears throat> Sorry. She is being so nice to me and showing me all the different places I can live near Las Vegas, Nevada. Have you ever heard that song, Viva Las Vegas? <laughs> it's a very colorful city with lots of rainbows and colorful lights and lots of people like me. So I feel like I'm going to be safer there. And I know I'm going to be leaving my family and my friends. And it's really scary. But I don't want my colors to go away. I don't want my world to be gray and sad like it's raining all the time. And right now it feels like it's raining all the time. And it's hard for me to see the sunshine after the rain. But you know what? What comes after every rainstorm? A rainbow. And you can never, ever get rid of the rainbow. And I just wanted to say to Carissa, thank you. That was some of the nicest words I've heard in my life. I've never felt so valued you know by someone with a little child and what I thought as a small gesture as the <laughs> the most basic thing that somebody could want to do for someone I felt like I wasn't doing enough for you and Maddie that you felt that it was just the most precious thing in the whole world. It means so much to hear, especially during this dark time. 
So I'm kind of glad that you put off the video. I'm glad you waited to record it. Because I feel like I needed to hear it now. Because I'm shutting myself off from the world. And I'm scared. And I feel like I'm not going to raise enough money to leave. And I'm worried. But just hearing your kind words made me feel so special. Like I still can do good in this world despite so many people hating what I am. And thank you, Maddie, for listening and watching my videos. <laughs> I'm your Koei. <laughs> um, so, I know that this won't be the last time we see each other because everybody goes to Vegas sometime in their life. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's one of the it's one of the big destinations or places that you go when you grow up to party, to have fun, to see the lights, to see the shows. To see all the beautiful drag queens. And, um, I just hope I get there. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to link Carissa's video in the description that I'm reacting to right now. Um, and uh, if you want to go back just a few videos, um, you'll see this bright pink and blue birthday cake. And, and uh, I made a, a cake for Maddie, um, for Vlogerino's Ma Maddie's birthday. And then the next video is the, uh, um, the Disney vlog with Carissa and Maddie and her husband. And, um, I'm so happy that I've made such amazing friends through this group, this Vlogerino group for Peter Mon, um, because the kindness has not stopped. And it's been limitless and selfless. And it's gotten me through some hard times. So thank you. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being my good Judy's. And, um, I'd love to see you guys really soon again. <laughs> I love you both so much. Stay awesome. Bye. Mwah.